Hi everybody, this is Dorkabliss77 and today I am doing a get ready with me video. I'm not going anywhere special, but I am testing out my new foundation by Makeup Forever. It's a face and body foundation and I'm shade 34. This stuff is amazing. This matches my skin tone and yes, I did dye my hair red. And it comes out with a it has like a pump and it's this color I don't know if you guys can see it and you shake it and I'm gonna use my hands to apply this foundation you could use a brush if you want to but I'm just gonna use my hands I'm gonna use one pump first And I'm just going to start applying it to my face and rubbing it in. I love this stuff because it's so lightweight. It, it honestly, like, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup. And it is buildable. And it's semi-waterproof. I've been testing this out for three days now and I've, I've worn it to work and it's just it's held up really well at work actually like even my MAC makeup gets like more oily than this stuff does and I've already applied um, chapstick and I'm going to go in with my Ulta lipstick in 240. And just apply it straight from the tube. And then I'm going to take my ELF's Fairy Lip Gloss and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lip. And near the cupid's bow. I'm just testing out makeup. Today I'm going to be using my painter, my Max Paint Pot in Painterly. This does um, crease on me because I have oily lids and it just gets oilier during the summer. So I will not be repurchasing my paint pot. Hi everybody, this is Dorkabliss77 and today I am doing a get ready with me video. I'm not going anywhere special, but I am testing out my new foundation by Makeup Forever. It's a face and body foundation and I'm shade 34. This stuff is amazing. This matches my skin tone and yes, I did dye my hair red. And it comes out with a it has like a pump and it's this color I don't know if you guys can see it and you shake it and I'm gonna use my hands to apply this foundation you could use a brush if you want to but I'm just gonna use my hands I'm gonna use one pump first And I'm just going to start applying it to my face and rubbing it in. I love this stuff because it's so lightweight. It, it honestly, like, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup. And it is buildable. And it's semi-waterproof. I've been testing this out for... 
three days now and I've, I've worn it to work and it's just it's held up really well at work actually like even my MAC makeup gets like more oily than this stuff does with my MAC NW30 Studio Finish Concealer and I'm going to also use my fingers and I'm going to dab it in underneath my eyes because that is my trouble spot as I have dark circles and I don't like my dark I'm going to take this flat brush it's um it's a powder brush and I'm gonna take my Rimmel London Stay Matte and Sandstorm and I'm gonna swirl it in there I'm just going to start buffing it into my skin and just applying it to the areas like my T-zone because my T-zone gets really oily and it's just not a good look. Next, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. NYX is matte bronzer and medium. And this is a matte warm brown bronzer. And I'm just going to go in underneath my jawbone and just define that. And I'm going to take it down underneath my neck. And I'm just gonna tap off the excess and I'm just gonna go up here and start like contouring my forehead. Like right here. And fishy face. I'm going to go in with my blush and today I'm going to use Elf's Candid Coral and I'm taking this brush from Elf, it's a fluffy brush, a uh, fluffy complexion brush but I use it as a blush brush and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to swirl it in. I really like this. It's like a dupe for NARS Orgasm. And it's just really pretty. Because it has a really soft and subtle gold flex. And it makes your skin glow. Just like NARS Orgasm. And you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get the same thing. My e.l.f. bronzer and it's in golden and I'm just going to use this for highlight and it's very sparkly and I'm just going to take this brush and dip it into the gold color and I'm just going to highlight the areas where the sun just naturally hits my face. So right here on my cheekbone you want to do it like a finger wisp away from your eye and you're going to want to go up and hit right here, right there. Well, sometimes like I change up the color that I use to highlight with because like I can get away with it sometimes. I like to use this color right here in the bottom, like the champagne color, or um, just a, a, a more cool toned color. It all depends on my mood. 
and on the chin and lightly dust the top of my forehead and this down the center of my nose. I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go for the Cupid's bow and just put a little highlighter there. My flat complexion brush one more time and I'm going to distribute and blend the product together to make sure it looks really good and just not like odd. As you can see, I've already started on this eye and today I'm only going to be using one palette which is my 88 Warm palette from Coastal Scents. I'm going to use my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush to pack on this color right here, this peach color that's matte, and this is going to be applied all over the lid. And this is just basically the base and highlight color. Fluffy eyeshadow brush from Rite Aid. And the same palette. And I'm going to take this gold color right here. And apply it all over the lid. Slightly into the crease. and in the inner corner, like so. Next, I'm going to grab my domed shaped eye brush and I'm going to go into this rust color here and I'm going to tap off the excess. This color right here And I'm going to apply it to my outer V and slightly start working in about halfway into my crease, slightly going back and forth. And then I'm going to take it down underneath the eye and go about halfway on the lower lower portion of my lid with this rust color eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into this this reddish matte brown right here and tap off of the excess. And I'm going to work this into the outer V, slightly going up, but not so far as up as we had done in the previous. So kind of work that in the outer V, slightly go up, and bring it down over and slightly my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna slightly go over and blend out the edges my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna slightly go over and blend out the edges. Grab my NYX dark 
brown eyeliner. Looks like this color. And I'm going to apply it to my upper lash line as close as to the lashes as I can get. And the um, in the inner rim slash lower line of your inner waterline. Mix matte finish setting spray. And you're gonna want to get this as far as way as you can, and close your eyes. Applying. Wet n Wild's Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara to my bottom lash line. Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Just for the upper. Else clear mascara to brush my brows into place and keep them there this is the completed makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed um, I'm not gonna do anything with my hair because I'm going to work and where I work I have my hair up in a ponytail and I wear a hat so can't really see my hair so I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching bye